Hey you mates going welcome back to my channel. I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. So it's going to be on um, actually kind of an initial try on review of a product. And the product I'm going to be reviewing today is a beauty bakery. So I okay. Sorry about that. So it's beauty beauty bakery and um, I got the both the foundation and the um, concealer. I wasn't able to get the powder because they're sold out. Like they're all, it seems like they're always sold out of stuff, especially since that whole uh, thing came out about Huda Beauty and Jeffree Star and a couple other people, Lashes by Lena calling them out. Uh, Huda Beauty for stealing the concept and not giving credit to uh, Beauty Bakery. It seems like everybody now is just really, really, really onto beauty bakery there was a following before don't get me wrong I'm just saying it's just gotten more it's just gotten bigger so um anyway this is the cake mix it comes like this it's really cute so everything is based on baking and so it comes like this in a little box and it has it says who's the sweetest of them all so it's a mirror okay and then um it tells you that uh it's the information about the foundation uh, the Cake Mix Foundation is a medium to full coverage, demi matte foundation infused with vitamin E, oil free and lightweight. Cake Mix lets you bake your cake without eating it too. With, yeah, without eating it too. Uh, it's a get a smudge free beat. Ba get a smudge free bake beat with cake face concealer, Cake Mix foundation, and a dash of flower setting powder. See, that's why I don't have, I don't have the setting powder. Then on the back, it's just like, you know, oh, the nutrition facts are really cool. I don't know if they're going to show up on camera. But um, it just lets you know it's 100% vegan, and it's really cool. It gives you the ingredients. And you know, like when you buy something, it tells you nutritional value. So it's like calorie zero, gluten zero, paraben zero, vitamin E. Check proof. Check. Smudge proof. Check. So it's really cute. They put a lot of thought into, um, she put a lot of thought into her products. Then on the back, it tells you all that you'll need, like, again, like you're baking something. So this is really cool. So you're going to need baking oil, cake face concealer, flour setting power, a blending egg, and bakeware. And of course, bakeware meaning your brush. Cute. Uh, so you want to make sure you, first step is to prep, prep your skin. Uh, the second is to mix, which is putting on the foundation. And the third is to bake, which is using uh, the powder. So, let's go ahead and get started because I got somewhere to go. So, I did not uh, purchase her baking oil because it's expensive. <laughs> I'm sure it works really well, but I don't have that kind of money right now. The way my, my, my chicken account is set up. So, I'm just going to use my rosehip seed oil that I use for just every day. Because I've seen other people review this and they've used other oils. So, yeah, let's just <clears throat> do that. So, I'm just going to apply... A few drops onto my face. And guys, I just got my first facial yesterday. And my skin is, I woke up today and I don't really see that much oil on my skin. So I'm really happy and excited. It was a really great experience. So I'm glad I did that for myself. You got to take care of yourself. Self-care self is, ugh, it's just really, 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 really critical to maintain, you know, to obtain and maintain a good spirit and to also help with good mental health. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be physically or mentally or emotionally able to take on your day, it, anything that life throws at you. So make sure you take care of yourself and then especially if you're, especially your body and your skin, even if, whether you wear makeup or you don't wear makeup, you still, your skin should be taken well care of. So, anyway, I'm just pressing the oil into my face and then rubbing it in if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so, the one thing about, I don't like ordering foundation online. I mean, everyone has this issue. You don't know which color is yours. And I couldn't find someone who, re who reviewed this or posted online that had my skin color. I was really searching. I didn't know what to search. So maybe I entered the wrong, you know, uh, I'm going to try to say. <laughs> you just pull it out. I thought you just pulled it out. Maybe I entered the wrong search words. Oh, you got to take the sticker out. So, 
I'm hoping this is my shade. Okay, so you just take the tape off and then you just slide that cake mix out. Now I've heard that this foundation is probably not the best for dry skin. So I have oily skin. They said it works really great with oily skin. So we shall see. I'm going to give it a good shake. I got the color 31. And I think this is, it's either medium tan or medium tan neutral. What does it say on here? Now I have to go online and see what the description is for it. Wow, did I? Is it? Okay. So the directions say you're supposed to give it a minute or two to absorb. I think I've been talking enough to make it a minute or two for my oil to absorb. So you apply a few drops of foundation to center of your face and blend outwards. You use a gent gently tap. Oh my gosh! You gently tap in the foundation. Stippling, not rubbing to avoid not so sweet streaks. So I think this is a, a, one of the issues that people were having is that um, they were streaking and the product was picking up. So I'm going to do what they've done and I'm going to work in sections. So okay, so I'm do two pumps on the side of my face and I'm using new brushes because my other brushes are dirty and I didn't want to I just got a facial I don't want to use dirty brushes on my face so this is Morphe Y7 this is not typically my foundation brush but we'll see how it works as a foundation brush but I really prefer the flat top but I don't have any flat tops besides the one I'm using so anyway <laughs> anywho. so let's just go ahead because they said that this foundation dries really quickly So, so far I believe that I have, the color is working for me. I'm not 100% sure because I know that people have said that this foundation does get darker as it um, dries. So, I don't know for sure, um, you know, how well it will do. So I hope it doesn't get too dark. Because the other shade I wanted that's lighter than this one is always sold out. So... It must be a popular shade range for people. So it's blending really nicely on the face. Um, just with the one, um, the first time putting it on, it's not covering everything that I like. It's not covering all my um, superficial acne scars on my face. So I'm going to go in with another uh, pump and see if I can get uh, build the coverage up. Okay, with that second pump, I was able to get more of a coverage to cover this area here. So now what I'm going to do is use this concealer and to conceal my under eyes and also some other areas on my face. I didn't want to color correct because I wanted to see how this foundation does, you know, this, oops, this concealer foundation do by themselves. So this is the concealer here and I got the color in pore cap, pro caffeinating cake face concealer. So pro caffeinating is the color. Let's see how it does. <laughs> so there's the applicator right there. It's my shade. It's not too light and it's not too matchy matchy. So it did cover up my areas except this little friend right here. But usually foundation doesn't always cover um, 
pimples, red pimples. That's, you know, usually you got to use the um, green color corrector to take out that. Cancel out that redness. So I'm going to put a little concealer there as well. Yeah, that concealer is already drying. So yeah, you got to move fast with it. So I'm using a, just a wet makeup sponge and I'm going to hurry up and blend that if I... Okay, so um, I didn't like using the concealer with uh, a makeup sponge. I know some people said that they didn't like using their, I don't know, some people had success with the beauty blender, some didn't. Um, I didn't purchase her specific um, egg to conceal things or to apply the foundation. But um, I don't like using a sponge on the product. So uh, definitely, to me, definitely you'll have to use, to me, it, it, um, brushes work better. Now, as far as the concealer, I'm going to apply a little bit more um, if I had known, I would have brought a concealer brush uh, in to blend this out. As I'm rereading the directions, it's saying to put the concealer on first and th then put the foundation on. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, so even though I'm oily skin, I do have, uh, I'm combination skin, so of course my oil falls in my T-zone, but I have dry areas like around, oops, like around my mouth area, oops. So I can definitely understand why well, they're saying for dry skin to definitely use the oil because this foundation it just sticks like a sticker to your dry areas so make sure you definitely moisturize I probably should put moisturizer on before I did this I did not <laughs> uh, but I would do that and I, I don't know if I would wait if you're using a different oil than the one that she provides I don't know if I would wait one to two minutes for it to soak in I would just go ahead and start applying product. But yeah, um, you can always do like I just did and add some extra oil to help spread that product over. Because there were just certain places it was just sticking to my skin and it just wasn't looking pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm going to set the rest of the face with the translucent powder that I have. Okay, I'm going to contour my 3-in-1 highlight contour palette. I'm going to use the middle shade. I'm going to go into the Bad Habit Beauty Glow Palette and use this shade here, which is called Glint, as my um, blush for today. Okay, I'm going to go in with the color Caramel, which is this eyeshadow color here, and just sweep that all over my eyelid. I didn't use primer because... I'm not gonna I'm only gonna be gone for a couple of hours, so I don't want to use a whole bunch of product. And I'm gonna go in with the glow palette and I'm gonna use this color beam right here and just put that kind of in my crease area just to deepen that up.
Okay, so I'm gonna go do uh, put on my eyelashes and do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here's my completed look. So uh, I'm going to wear this for a few hours, and then I'll come back on here and get my final thoughts. Um, just initially, I understand what people were saying before. Um, you just got to work this a certain way. It's not like other typical foundations I've used in the past. So you definitely got to keep with the stickling motion. You got to make sure it dries also before putting on like a, a setting powder because I feel like that makes it move as well it'll pick it back up so uh the brush I use I didn't tip, I didn't really like it so maybe if it was um le uh, less dense like really 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 fluffy maybe that'll work or maybe it's just the products so maybe spraying like a setting spray before you do your powder um if you're not using her powder I'm not sure if that makes a difference is because I use a different brand versus her brand so I don't know but uh, let me just see how this wears all day. So far, the color still looks like it matches, but I'm in the bathroom. So we'll see what it looks like once I hit outside into the... There's a little sun out there. We'll just have to see. So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and get going. Uh, I got an appointment, so I will see y'all in a few hours. Oh, and just to show you what time it is. See, my Fitbit will work here. So it's... 122. I don't know if you can see that. It was 122, guys. It's 122. So I'll see you in a few hours to let you know how all this turned out. All right, guys. It is now 6:45. Okay, so it has been about five hours since I've had the foundation on. This is in natural lighting. Please ignore my background. <laughs> okay. So um, the way I'm doing this review, uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers is Socialite Sandy, and I absolutely love her, and I love the way she does her reviews. She'll, you know, you'll watch her put it on, and then after her, running her errands for the day and things like that, she'll come back on and give you her final uh, review of the product after wearing it. So I am stealing that from her and getting inspiration from that, and that's what's how I got what I'm doing right now. So. Anyway, so after wearing uh, this foundation for five hours, I have not touched up anything on my face. That's the same way Sandy does it. I haven't applied any powder. I haven't blotted. I was in a meeting for three hours straight, so I couldn't really do anything but take notes and have discussions. So, yeah. Uh, let me take my glasses off. So this foundation is a demi-matte because if it was matte, I believe... I wouldn't have any shine coming through but because it's a demi matte I do still have my oils coming through but it gives my face like a natural glow it's not like oh she oily she need a blot mm -mm -mm. it's not where it's just like oh her highlight popping I see you're popping girl you look sheen you got a natural glow you look youthful I mean during my meeting the, the woman I was in the meeting with she who she's a blessing she's awesome she didn't even believe how old I was so she kept asking me like how old are you again I just want to make sure you said that's how old you were so Anyway, <laughs> this foundation does help with that. So it gives me just a natural, youthful sheen on the face. As far as coverage, I don't know. I feel like some of the coverage left right here. Um, and then, you know, I do get dry in this area. So I feel like some of it left right here. So I'm on the fence with this foundation. Like, I feel like it gives beautiful coverage and it does last. I mean, it's five hours. So um I'll, I'll have to come back later on and maybe do another review. Uh, maybe the next time I do a tutorial or something, I will put on there. Uh, if I notice after wearing the foundation for 10 hours, it did something really funky and really weird. But I feel like for, you know, an eight hour, nine hour shift, I feel like it's still going to do the same thing with what it's doing now after five hours. Again, if I'm wrong, I'll let you guys know. But it's only this side of my face that some of the foundation left. This side is okay. So... Based off of that, I would recommend if you don't have a flawless canvas like myself, if you do have a little bit of the acne scar or whatever, I would probably definitely either use the foundation, the Beauty Bakery foundation, not foundation. I'll use the Beauty Bakery concealer first to conceal those areas and then put on foundation and then maybe conceal the under eyes using the concealer or I would color correct. So use your normal whatever you use for color correction put the foundation on conceal right here so it's up to you I think tomorrow what I'm going to try is putting the concealer on first and then put on the foundation and see if that works so that I don't have this the pigmentation coming back onto my skin so other than that I do I mean there isn't any creasing under my eyes I mean by now it's not that it would have been a bad creasing but sometimes during the day I have to you know just kind of pat 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 move just to get rid of some of where the oil kind of made my um 
concealer crease but I don't have that at all with this I mean it's just like how when I put it on originally so I do like that but anyway guys so if I had to put a scale right I've never done this before so let's make up a scale so let's say a scale of five because five is my favorite number so on a scale of one to five one being like no a scale of zero to five because some products just need a zero like you don't even need a one you're just a zero okay so we'll say zero is just trash just just throw the whole brand and product array it's done it's over it nothing else needs to continue or come out of that just psh, let it go and then five is like awesome amazing just near to perfection because nothing's perfect so just near to perfection so i'm gonna give beauty bakery cake foundation a three Okay, and that uh, might change based on me playing around with the application process like some of the other YouTubers and reviewers have done. I just think you need to kind of play around with it to find out which method works best for your skin, your skin type, and the look you normally like going on your face. I hope that all makes sense. I hope this was very informative. I hope I'm not like, you know, going on and on and on. <laughs> All right, guys, but I am here because I got a new unit delivered. So after my errands, I got to pick that up. And so don't forget to tell yourself you love yourself. You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'll see y'all next time. Oh, don't forget to su subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when a new video is headed your way. And let me go get this unit so I can get home and make this video while there's a little bit of sun still left. Bye.